Thanks. Okay, it's getting back in the strength and conditioning program. What was that like for you guys to get back in that? Thank you. <clears throat> oh, you got it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, getting back into the strength and conditioning program was good. It was good step to get past this whole COVID um, break that we had. It was nice to have a team completely together, training again, kind of like normal. It was good. What kind of improvements do you make? Where are your benchmarks at now? Um, I was able to get stronger, definitely a lot stronger. I gained a lot more weight, which is good. And I kept my speed very high, which is kind of ideal for an off-season training. Okay. So we're able to work hard and keep those goals. And what are you weighing at now? Uh, right now I'm weighing 235. Okay. Yeah. Case you were captain last year. How right. meaningful is it for you to be captain again this year? It's awesome. I love the opportunity, love the experience, and especially love working with Herm. Uh, Coach Herm is an amazing guy. He uh, definitely leads us and guides us in the right direction, and then he just kind of portrays it to the captains. And he's a leader himself, and he leads by example, kind of shows us what we need to do as captains on this team is just to reach out to others and make sure we're uplifting each other in the right way. He's, uh, whenever I ask anybody else about you, their eyes kind of light up. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Man, I love football. Honestly, I love football. I'm kind of more old school with the way I like to play it. Um, I like to hit as much as possible. So if there's any opportunity for contact, I'm going to take it. I'm not one to go juking around, guys. I'm going to take you head on. And knowing that I was able to put the work in in the offseason to be you one on one. You mentioned getting faster. What were kind of some of the other things you were working on getting ready for this offseason? Um, definitely more speed for the route running. Um, I want to be incorporated more in the route running concept of the offense. And so I wanted to work on my change of direction and getting out of the points on the route. How do you feel like that played in today, just getting back on the practice field? Oh, it was awesome. It was great to be back out there. The Heat definitely played a big role in a lot of kids. Um, but it was fun to be back out there as a team, finally get a practice, get things going. Have you tried Jaden's pizza yet? Jaden, I have not. I have not yet. Are you going to? But I am going to. Okay. We're all going to go out there on Saturday. We're going to go try it. Yeah. Awesome. So, okay, so you talk about being an old school player, old school mentality, but this is also a very complex offense for tight ends, eight tracks like yourself, really getting involved in the passing game. Can you talk about the evolution, the progress of that aspect as it relates directly to you? Yeah, so it was definitely a big learning curve for me coming from linebacker to offense, now playing H back and fullback, sometimes tight end. Um, it's awesome to be versatile, uh, but definitely a learning curve for me to kind of finesse the, the game of football a little bit more and uh, be more agile when it comes to those positions. What are your goals as a captain uh, this year? How do you like to lead? Um, I'm a very vocal guy. I've always been vocal. Um, and I want to make sure that we're putting in the work necessary to be a championship team. We have the athletes to do it. And that's going to take someone kind of pushing them in the right direction. Whether that's just, it's going to be the simple things that make us better than everyone else. It's going to be hustling off the field after a play, after a drive. It's going to be everyone paying attention, focused up during uh, an offensive drive, defensive drive, whatever it may be. We've just got to be very focused on what we do, very detailed. And how much do you see yourself being involved in the offense? A lot. It's uh, definitely a fun role for me to play um, because I get a, I get a, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of different opportunities to play. Because I get a block on a couple plays, and the next play I'll be running a route. The next play I'll be blocking again. But it's just really fun to, to do both. Zach yeah, has high expectations for your position and what it can do in this offense. What are you just kind of expecting out of you guys as a group? Um, definitely a lot from uh, everyone in our group, especially Curtis Hodges, uh, me, myself, um, especially all the new coming uh, freshman kids that are working at our position. Um, it's definitely going to be a role that's going to play a big part in this offense. And uh, it's going to be up to us if we're going to execute it or not. Is there anyone who's kind of impressed you in your position room just through the strength and conditioning or just getting ready for this point? Um, yeah, actually, definitely Curtis. Yeah. Curtis has put the work in. I've been working with him every day. We uh, definitely go out there and do our very best every single opportunity we get. Do you expect to be more of an H-back tight end or fullback? Um, more H-back fullback is what we're hoping for this year. And uh, yeah. So we'll go. Last time we, or the first time we talked to you last year, you talked about how LV made a really big impact. Are there any other newcomers? I know it's the first day. Any other newcomers who have really stood out to you thus far? Um, there's always those kids that just impress you like crazy. Um, but today's practice was definitely a lot more of getting back into it and stuff. And so I know by the end of the week, we'll definitely see those kids show out. Um, it's going to be really good for all of them. Yeah. As you talked about leading on the field, uh, what are some ways that you lead off the field with your position? 
So off the field, especially with my position group, that's a good way to put it, is um, we, we're very dialed in. Um, when we're out of meetings with the coaches, we're doing our own personal stuff, going over plays as a group. Um, we're going over run blocks as a group. We're going over every little detail, making sure everyone knows exactly what to do, not just me, not just Curtis, not just John. Every single one of the players in our group knows exactly what to do.